Dom here from Essential RC with Carl on camera. So we're down in the flying field. It is a beautiful day. I have to say we are having a good summer here in the UK. Almost too good. It is, <laughs> it is very, very hot and expected to be up near 40 degrees this week. But excellent weather for gliding. A good excuse to bring out the Cavern Twin Shark again from our friends at Model Shop Leeds. Enjoyed this last time at a different flying site where I put a camera, an Insta360 Go 2 up on the tail. Not doing that today. Doing a line of sight video and Carl's going to capture some uh, some gliding and then some aerobatics and some I think it's got this quite distinctive uh, distinctive uh, zing sound as it, as it uh, zooms by on a low flyby so we'll we'll do that bit of mixed flying okay here we go Power, power. Try and catch that airliner up there. <laughs> Wonder where they're off to. And the thing with gli the gliders is it's the decay of the, fl of the altitude, isn't it? It's, this, I think, is really, really good. It's going to stay up there a long time on that one four cell 2200 pack that I'm using. See, it's not lost a lot of height. Really. So the idea is you can hunt around for thermals. I'm using my trusty Radio Master TX16. You could get a what do they call it? A variometer, Carl. Oh yeah. So you could find out. You can kind of look around for the lift. Beeps that yeah, doesn't it? When you're climbing. And yeah, it, that's yeah. right. Yeah, to give an indication. To me, it almost sounds like a composite glider, the, the, way, the way it cuts through the air. Mm. I'd be happy just doing that all day long. <laughs> With the whoosh. Get some whistlers on the wingtips. So another interesting thing, I'm using uh, the Radiomaster TX16S 
but I'm using one of my old Spectrum DSMX receivers and that's the the great thing about the uh, Radio Master Multi Protocol TX16S is you can leverage your your old receivers because it supports 30, 40 different different protocols. One more pass. Never a good idea to rush a landing. Can't make a good landing out of a bad approach, as uh, the guy who taught me many years ago told me. All right, good to let. There we go, a lot of fun. It doesn't get any better than that for uh, gliding, I think. Really good 4S setup, gets you to altitude really, really quickly, glide around, catch thermals, stay up a long time, or you can do those nice fast passes, uh, loops, really tight loops. You saw that double loop that I did, that was really nice. Uh, rolls, but they are slow because it is a glider, so it's gonna be a bit slow. Uh, what else to tell you? One thing I didn't tell you last time, underneath you have this tailwheel. You don't have to use that tailwheel. They also provide a skid that you can put on. So if you're working from a, you need to land on a hard runway, then the, this wheel is a good idea. If you're landing on grass or anything like that, then you could just go with the, the skid and leave the insert that's in there from the factory and not put this arrangement in place. But otherwise it's very simple, it takes minutes to put together as you saw in the last video. So that's the Cavan Twins Shark uh, powered sailplane from our friends at Model Shop Leeds. Look it up for a price, the, the link is in the video description and the pinned comment. If you've enjoyed our flight tests, then please subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications of our future uploads and live streams. But otherwise that's it for this one. Thanks to Carl on camera. Cheers. And we'll see you for the next one. Cheers. Bye. Wing tips. There we go. A lot of fun. It doesn't get any better than that for uh, gliding.